So you're thinking about becoming a physical therapist and need to decide on a major? In this video, I'll share my advice on choosing the best major to maximize your chances of getting into PT school. I wanna answer this question about choosing the best college major for physical therapy, because right now, there are 19,000 students applying to PT school, and they're wondering if they've done enough to stand out to be a part of the 50% of applicants who are accepted into PT school. I know you wanna be a part of that 50% who are accepted into PT school, so let's dive in to see what major you should choose. Now you might find this to be a surprise, but your college major matters less than what you think it does. Personally, I graduated with a business degree and applied to PT school after completing my prerequisites, and I didn't declare a pre-PT major in biology, kinesiology, exercise science, and in all honesty, I think that having a major outside of science actually helps me stand out among the pool of applicants. You see, according to the APTA, nearly 60% of accepted applicants held a degree in exercise science, kinesiology, biology, and the rest of them held a degree in uh, health sciences, athletic training, and exercise physiology. And I know that you're probably thinking, well, hey, if these students made up the majority of accepted students, shouldn't I just major in one of these areas? And well, sure you can, and there's nothing wrong with majoring in exercise science or biology or kinesiology when you apply to PT school, and if those classes are interesting to you, by all means, declare that as your major. But here's the thing, you don't need to major in any of these in order to get accepted into physical therapy school. In fact, I'd challenge you that by selecting a major of business or finance, engineering, education, or accounting, or whatever it is, it will not only set you apart from the other applicants, but it will give you additional knowledge that will be so valuable during your career as a physical therapist that you just can't get with a degree in biology. You see, all the programs in physical therapy will list out their prerequisite classes required to get into the program. And it doesn't matter what your degree or your declared major is, as long as you take the required biology, chemistry, anatomy, physiology, physics, or other prerequisites that they've set for their program. If you have a knack for business or accounting, but also have an interest in health sciences, get a degree in business and take a few science classes. If you like working with your hands, solving problems and building things, but have a strong interest in movement and exercise, and the idea of a physical therapist is fascinating to you, then get a degree in engineering, and then complete the prerequisites for physical therapy school. At the end of the day, it comes down to two factors when choosing your degree. You should take courses that are interesting to you, and you need to diversify your education. And this is my bias coming out here too, because as someone who has a business degree and applied to PT school, I can tell you that when I sat down during an interview, I had different experiences and insights and skills and stories than most everyone who interviewed that day, and as long as your grades for the prerequisites are strong, there's nothing wrong with having a degree outside that science major. In my opinion, that makes you a stronger applicant because you bring new skill sets, new ideas into that program. And the second reason that I recommend students think outside the typical health science major is that it helps to diversify your education. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting a degree in biology or health sciences, exercise physiology, but what happens in 10, 15 years when you decide to change fields or pursue a different job? And I'll be brutally honest with you and tell you that physical therapy is a tough profession because the rate of burnout and the high frequency of overworked therapists. A lot of PTs feel trapped because they aren't confident in their skills outside of physical therapy. They don't know they can pursue something different because physical therapy and health sciences are all they know. Now, personally, I would argue that this is farthest from the truth. And you can check out my video on non-clinical physical therapy jobs to see what I mean. But having a degree in business or engineering as well as physical therapy will give you so many more opportunities than simply having a degree in physical therapy along with your undergraduate biology degree. So if you're interested in becoming a physical therapist and would like the inside scoop on how I got into one of the top PT programs in the country without a biology degree, check out the Physical Therapy School interview guide where we get into the top strategies for acing your physical therapy school interview. And I also give you the actual essays I use to get into PT school along with an entirely separate essay from another student so you can see what it takes to apply and get accepted to PT school on your first time. As always, if you found this video to be helpful, I would love it if you like it below. Also, if you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.